Hello and welcome to another edition of the Divine Mercy for America, Holy Hour Novena for our nation. Thank you so much for joining us. A big welcome and hello to our uh, beautiful family that joins us here on Zoom. And if you're watching on YouTube later, uh, thank you for praying along with us. You can find us at divinemercyforamerica.org. Click the membership tab and get connected and we will send you the Zoom link to join in on this meeting. And today we have uh, the husband of someone that we've had on before, Maureen Flynn, her husband, Ted Flynn, who is a renowned author, uh, has been in uh, been in the, the ministry work for years and years and years. Uh, years ago, the, the book, the great book, uh, The Thunder of Justice, and has just come out with a new book. And we'll get right to it. The Great Reset. Yeah, and we had uh, Maureen was scheduled today, so no confusion. Uh, Ted was gonna uh, was scheduled to be on the program next month, but uh, considering that this book just came out, and also a wonderful article that he just wrote on Our Lady of America uh, coming out in their magazine Signs and Wonders, is now hitting um, hitting everybody's mailboxes. We thought it'd be a good idea to have Ted right now, and Maureen will come back and visit with us in October. Ted, what a what a joy and an honor to have you with us today. We don't have a whole lot of time, but this is at least an opportunity to kind of just um, give an overview of what you've been doing and what you've been working on and where people can get it, and then um, hopefully we'll be able to get back with you and do a, a more in-depth uh, interview. Um, Soon. The book is just out, right? I mean, it's just just coming out. Uh, we a week and a half old. Was, I'm I'm a little surprised. I didn't know Maureen sent you one. She must have overnighted it. She did. I and it came in yeah. today. Yeah, it yeah. Just it's, came out. It, it's actually a book of great hope. It it's basically it's a book rooted in the reality of our culture and where we're at. It's not exactly some sort of. Uh, diatribe or anything, but it's showing that the culture is in tremendous decline. But the hope and people who uh, some of the people who reviewed this for me before it was released saw that which makes me very, very grateful. Because it's a book that basically heaven has a plan. And people right now are struggling the anxiety, the stress, the despondency with some in despair looking at the cultural decline that heaven has a plan and people have to see that. And that's what the book is. It's very, very hopeful. And there's messages in there literally from the Lord himself, from, from the prophet Jeremiah. It's in the chapter called the Daniel chapter where Jeremiah uh, told the people of how they should live in captivity. And it's literally uh, and how they could prosper and thrive. And that's exactly how the people lived in captivity. So it's a book of great hope and in light of the reality of our day. Well, awesome. you know, and that's what we've been sharing and that the attitude that we've taken uh, through through our ministry, Divine Mercy and Divine Mercy for America. And to know if we believe in the Fatima message and other prophecies that the the triumph of the Immaculate Heart is imminent. You know, that, that we know that we're going to be going through tough times. We know that uh, great evil is traversing uh, the whole world and, and you know, uh, seeking the ruin of souls. And so, uh, Ted, explain a little bit about the title, The Great Reset, because this isn't this isn't the Catholic term, right? It's or the. No, it's not. No, I mean, uh, the, the great reset we hear, no matter what we're picking up, any periodical, anything on the net, we're always hearing about the great reset with these globalist elites and the moneyed and the technocracy and all of the different um, corporations uh, very much pushing an agenda. But historically, the great reset is basically that there's going to be an issue where there's going to be like a new reserve currency with new corporations and new governments in control. I mean, we've seen this many, many times in history. America is the 23rd great empire in world history. 
un, uncontested after World War II. We could have done anything to any nation at any time we would have ever chosen to do so. And there isn't anything anybody could have done about it. We were the world leader. But these nations rise the same way and decline the same way. And you, you know, you could look at the Greeks, the Mesopotamians, the Sumerians, uh, the Romans, which actually officially fell in the year 454, according to his, historians. We have the Spanish Armada, we have the French. And right after World War II, all of the allies knew that a country the size of Germany could not beat, in essence, the world. It was, was not possible. So they began to meet up in New Hampshire in, in, in what's called Bretton Woods. And what happened is the sterling of the sterling pound of Britain no longer was the reserve currency of the world. But in essence, that was a reset. That's something that people can more easily identify with in a modern era. That's all it was. The United States then became the reserve currency of the world. So it reset after World War II. And after every so many years, you have a culture, a civilization, uh, an empire that rises, and they become the more dominant. Many people feel that country in the future is going to be really China, as we look at uh, our decline. And something that the historian Will Durant said that was actually quite fascinating, he said, um, Great empires don't usually die from being conquered from without, but they commit suicide. And that's what's happening to the United States today. If you look at the inane, the banal, the insipid, the absolutely stupid things that this country is doing on a day-to-day -day basis, we're actually committing suicide. So we're following the same pattern. But you know, you talk about the word a triumph. I, I almost had that as the title in, in the title, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart. But the fact is, most people don't even know what the triumph of the Immaculate Heart is. So I called it the globalist plan versus heaven's victory. So what we're looking at today is we are actually seeing all of the pus coming out. It's That's a very descriptive a phrase that actually can turn some people off, the pus coming out. Whether you're in academia, corporate, government, uh, media, no matter entertainment, no matter where you're looking, you're seeing all of their what's, their when's, and all of the 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 crap that is in that is going on. And this is a necessary phase for us to move to the other side. It's going to be very painful, and that's what's actually happening. We're seeing families having a very, very difficult time. In essence, sex, drugs, and rock and roll have caught up with us. And so um, you, you're beginning to see, you know, just tremendous problems. And you, you can only be with somebody many times for several minutes before you will know where they stand on a variety of issues by what they may say just about one thing. And then if you respond, they'll take a reading on you as well. So we have a very much of a divided culture today and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it's dividing quicker and quicker. So this phase is, is moving us to the triumph of the Immaculate Heart. We have to see the old done away with. And so I see it, I don't see it as a positive in our culture, but I see it as necessary for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart. I mean, it has to happen somehow. Well, yes, you know, the time when things are upside down, that is for sure. And so much suffering, so much confusion, as you say, I'm just repeating what you just said. So, yes. Well, what I really love uh, about uh, you putting this book out there is because it's really hard to communicate to people that uh, really have never heard of any of this before, have never heard of the deep state or the deep church or uh, the globalists, or they're just listening to mainstream media to really know and understand what's going on. And so they're in the panic mode, but um you putting it all kind of in perspective and lining it all out in this book, uh, I think it's going to be a big, big help uh, to a lot of people, maybe a lot of you that are out there right now. 
Ted, where can people get the book? How do I how got do, it too. Uh, go sign, they can go to sign.org uh, and they can just get all of the information there, sign.org, which is Signs and Wonders for Our Times website. And if people, a, a one person just bought a hundred to give out, another person just bought 60. So if they're interested in buying more, you know, I, uh, I can work out a volume discount with them. But the thing that I like most about this, I mean, it, it's the content in this. It, it's scriptural. It's, it's philosophical. It's theological. It's the Blessed Mother's Messages. I mean, heaven has given us a roadmap for the future, for our security and safety and peace of soul and peace of mind. Wow. And, and, and you know, we were just talking about trying to communicate with people. By and large, we, we are such a bifurcated culture right now. It's very, very hard to speak to an unbeliever. Now, I've been in Washington now for 45 years. And, you know, it used to be Democrat and Republican. Then I stopped using that 15 years ago to where we're now in a phase of um, believer and unbeliever for many years. Now I've actually transitioned that thought to where you're either a believer or, or and if you believe a lot of things that are being done with either abortion, LGBT, literally having a child transgender through through mutilation that's not unbeliever that's a pagan practice we've actually transitioned i think to something to to pun intended here to a much more violent concept of what a uh, what a uh, an unbeliever versus a believer is and so if you, even in, even in, in the diary of Sister Faustina, she originally used the word pagan, if you remember, in the diary. Yes. And what was put in there? Was it unbeliever for the word pagan that was supplanted in there? I think so. Let me look. Um, for those who do not believe in God. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the Blessed Mother used, uh, or Jesus used the word pagan, correct? Yes, I think so. Yes. Well, that was the original uh, that was the translation. Original, was Editorially, right. changed it. We yeah. had to get. I guess I got a little bit more socially incorrect. And yeah, I think they sanitized it a little bit, but I mean that was the word translated then. But we're an incredibly bifurcated culture, and one thing that I'm asked all the time is a lot of people feel at their wits' end, and you know, um, I use a sports metaphor a lot. Uh, to to try to explain what I think is the best for people going forward, because I see things getting worse. I don't think we're, we've got the worst yet. I think things could get more rugged. And this for me is it helped me even thinking about it. But I've been a sports fan since I was a boy and almost and I think everybody can identify with this story. But in any single winning team locker room, whether it's Major League Baseball, World Series, Stanley Cup and Hockey, FIFA World Cup, uh, Super Bowl, whatever, some uh, announcer goes in and he shoves a microphone in somebody's face, who's usually the star, you know, the person who hit a grand slam, bases loaded, bottom, bottom of the ninth, you know, uh, and they win by one run and they shove it in the person's face and they always say, how did you get here? And they say, you know, every single day we came to the ballpark and we just practiced the fundamentals, catching, hitting, working as a team, just getting one out at a time, the pitcher, one pitch at a time. You don't get ahead of yourself. And so what he was saying is we practice the fundamentals every single day. That's what got us here. And then there's usually, you know, the guys that's champagne spraying all over the place. And then they say, you know, what's it like for you guys? Uh, do you guys just enjoy each other? You guys seem to click as a team. And almost all teams have little habits that they do. They follow like little games or something, whether it's in the clubhouse or the dugout. The Washington Capitals uh, the year they won the uh, Stanley Cup here in Washington, it came out that they play hacky sack as a team before they go out on the ice. So there's all of these little things they do. But they, you know, as a team, they say our wives go to, to, to dinner before or after the game. 
Um, you know, we celebrate each other's kids' birthdays. After the season, you know, there's 16 of us. We've got a trip that we're playing the golf courses of Scotland and Ireland and where we're, go we're getting on St. Andrews. So what they're saying as a team, they're a community. They like each other. They trust each other. And those two concepts are going to be very, very important for believers going forward. They're going to have to focus on the fundamentals of the faith to stay on the straight and narrow, which we know what they are, but we go off and pick daisies. And many times Catholics love to fight about things that really don't matter in the long run and in the short run and in the medium term, because they just argue, but who wants to be a part of that? And so, you know, so that's this concept of focusing on the fundamentals, mass, adoration, prayer, the rosary, you know, um, uh, confession. We know what these things are, and we're going to have to focus in on those. And, you know, adoration should be actually a part of a person's weekly schedule. And then in that community is where we're going to be able to lean on each other. People are going to need to have their communities to where they can share things and be a part of each other's lives, whether it's a prayer group. But the rubrics and community are what's going to get believers through this whole difficult time, in my opinion. Wow, I am, I am, you know, I'm filled with hope to just, you know, it makes so much sense concentrate on the basics. And, uh, you know, you're looking at a Baptist uh, convert you know, and uh, the rosary, you know, that is right up there with, with uh, bolstering the, the faith. And I just, at this moment, I feel like I need to dedicate myself even more to the rosary, not, not slip up, you know, and skip a day or whatever, you know? Well, but that, and that, go ahead, Ted, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, I was going to say, and that's, what's been the beauty of what, what we're doing, you know, uh, we've been getting together um, for a year and a half now, uh, via zoom. And prior to that, uh, we've had thousands of people, you know, just following what heaven has said. Like when you were saying it's the yeah. basics, even our blessed mother came in Medjugorje. That's what she said, right? You know, confession, the mass adoration, um, fasting, the power of fasting. So if we just stick to the basics, we don't have to come up with any new plan. And then the community, and we have seen it, and I know everyone will attest to it. So many, so many of our group, you know, we're lifting each other up, going through struggles, problems, health problems, deaths in family. And it's been such a comfort and, and relying on each other for those words of wisdom and those words of hope. So you're hitting the nail on the head and we Why? totally, totally believe and it. And I see on the, on the back cover, the warning and the great miracle of Garibandal. What it will mean for humanity? Will these supernatural events turn the tide of civilization itself? And that's uh, you know you, that's in. I haven't read it yet because we just got it this morning, but uh, it's in the book. And uh, as you said, Heaven, not Heaven's great reset is the warning. D due to the interconnectivity of the world economy, and uh, you know, where maybe a, a a car has parts made in twelve, fifteen countries and then assembled in one. The, we are, as a world, we have gone collectively insane as a world. And we, as I said, we're no longer just unbelievable. We're, 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 we're digging deep into paganism now with our views and just flouting all of the sacraments and the commands and statutes of heaven. And there's going to be a price to pay for that. But uh, the, the book is very, very heavily by design solution based. 99 out of 100 pundits, and, and when Maureen was telling me about what you do, I very much liked it because it's solution-based. It's being able to follow something that's going to give people solace and consolation for their own spiritual life. But people have to begin to understand they have to follow these rubrics and um, they've got to be in, in, in community. These are very, going to be very, very essential for our own well, well-being. And there's a verse, um, actually there's a story, which is the Daniel chapter, 
Uh, it's called the Daniel Factor, which is a chapter. It's where I say, I say Yahweh told Jeremiah to tell his people how to, how to exist when they were in captivity. And in um, uh, Jeremiah chapter 29, if somebody wants to look at it, get a little bit of a head start. It's, it's chapter 29, verse 4 through 14. It's only 10 or 11 verses to where the Lord is saying to the people of how to thrive in difficult times. Now, this is from the Lord's lips to his prophet Jeremiah for people who are going to be in captivity for 70 years. So give or take however long you want to put a generation. It's somewhere near four and a half generations. That's a long time. And he says to him, plant, harvest, uh, have children, give your daughters away to husbands, give your, your sons away to, 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 to wives. And then he said, in essence, keep your traditions and keep your faith. There is the Lord's prescription, the rubrics of the faith. Stick and, to them and you'll be just fine. Go to work, you know, plant, harvest. It was, it was, the whole world was an agrarian based civilization up until frankly probably the 1940s in the United States but um, in Western Europe but um, in other words stick to the rubrics that's my whole point here today if I make one point that people understand they're going to have to focus on the fundamentals to to get through the times that we're in or frankly they're going to lose it like almost everybody else and rubrics are mass uh, prayer, liturgy of the hours, uh, confession, a rosary, chaplet of mercy, right? Like he said, just, yes. you know, do what you're supposed to do. You just live. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Work. Uh, but marry. it's hard, you know, it, it's, it's hard. People look around and it's easy to get, uh, to get uh, discouraged and to focus on uh, the bad. And, you know, and, but in ultimately everything on this earth is passing and there's a lot of good things on this earth you know but everything is passing and heaven but heaven is not you know so that that's where you know no matter what's happening you know it's in our families our communities you know our political systems but to keep our sights on heaven amen and well with that with that uh we're a little bit past time to uh, meet our lord who's waiting for us all the time, truly present in the blessed sacrament, in the sacraments of every Catholic church. He has never, ever left us. He is with us. And he says what is needed most is trust. And I saw, uh, Ted, that this is why trust is so important now to maintain a proper balance in life. Amen. And so we trust in the Lord. We trust in his love. Here we go, I, I just I want to just recommend again, everybody to go to sign dot org it's very simple s-i-g-n sign dot org sign up for you know whatever they have the newsletter the, the mag the physical magazine that they send out you know and uh look over the website all kinds of great articles so all right well we're going to zoom we're going to have our, our prayer time like we said you can stick to the rubrics uh, pray the rosary we're going to we are going to be uh during this holy hour we're having this holy hour because it's what heaven said to do Pray for your country nine days in a row. Make a holy hour. We're doing that. We are going to do it virtually, but nonetheless, it's taking time out of our day. Ideally, we do it in front of the Blessed Sacrament, but it's not always possible. So we're doing it here via Zoom. But even if you can't do that, shut everything down. Make a holy hour in your living room, you know, driving in your car on a trip. Your time with the Lord is always holy. And uh, so we're... Uh, going to go to Vilnius and we were going to make an act of spiritual communion in lieu of sacramental communion because it's another thing that the Lord said to do. And then we're going to pray uh, the Holy Rosary, the Litany of the Saints, the Chaplet of Mercy. And so here we go in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you're new, uh, this is uh, the Divine Mercy Shrine in Vilnius, uh, Lithuania. Uh, St. Faustina was stationed in Vilnius at that time. It was uh, controlled by Poland before World War II. And this is where the painting was done. So, of course, on the altar, 
uh, our Lord Jesus, body, blood, soul, and divinity, uh, there uh, contained in the host on the altar and above the tabernacle is the original painting, not just a print, but the original painting of the divine mercy. The, the bishop there has set up this 24-7 uh, live stream from this uh, divine mercy shine shrine there in Vilnius. So we take a moment and we put ourselves, Lord Jesus, you are the king of the universe. You are the son of God. And we put all of our trust in you. And that is not trust misplaced. We love you. And right now we just reach deep into our hearts, Lord Jesus. We pull out all of those anxieties and all of those problems. And we hand them to you there on the altar. Therefore, our burden becomes light. We thank you, Lord Jesus. And so now we will go to the act of spiritual communion. And so we pray, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And so now we pray the most holy rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and, and of, of the, the Holy, holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints and the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. For our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive, forgive us our trespasses. trespasses. We forgive those who trespass, we trespass against, against, us. against us. Lead, Lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For an increase in faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first luminous mystery is the baptism in the Jordan. Oh, Jesus, we just ponder the fact that you, you humbled yourself to be baptized here, the Son of God presenting himself to be baptized by John the Baptist. And our Heavenly Father says, this is my Son in whom I am well pleased. And the uh, fruit of the mystery is the grace to live out our baptismal promises. So get behind us, Satan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And give us our trespasses. Joan and Dave, you're muted. Thank you. Sorry about that. How long, we, have we been muted long? No. No. Did you hear the Our Father? Yes. Okay. So Hail Mary. Okay. The first Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and, and ever, ever shall be, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save, save us from, from the, the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery is the wedding feast at Cana. The fruit of the mystery is to Jesus through Mary. And from the Gospel of John, when the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, do whatever he tells you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins. sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy, like us. Okay. Uh, Ted, I believe we have you down for the second. Ted and Eloise. Ted and Eloise. So we're on the third uh, luminous mystery. Now, who does this first? You. Um, the third is the proclamation of the kingdom of God, where Jesus literally said the kingdom of God is upon you. And his public ministry really began at the wedding feast of Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, I'm my sorry. Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. I'm so sorry. I have to leave. I have a doctor's appointment. Uh, so sorry to uh, not to be here for the rest of it. But okay. I next day okay okay chris god good. bless you chris thank you god good to see you uh jamie jamie will you respond fawn's going to lead this decade will you respond jamie is she here yes yes so I'm here. I, okay. I did okay. a thumbs up <laughs> oh okay good <laughs> okay the okay. fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration this is from the Gospel of Luke. As he was praying, the appearance of his countenance was altered, and his raiment became dazzling white, and a voice came out of the clouds saying, this is my son, my chosen, listen to him. And the fruit is spiritual courage. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. 
Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Eucharist. And when the hour came, he sat at table and the apostles with him. And he said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, the cup after supper, saying, This cup, which is put out for you, is the new covenant in my blood. The fruit of the mystery is adoration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. No, let her do it. You want to do the concluding prayers, Petra and Sue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor man as children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, 
pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Yes. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And prayers for the Holy Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. And now the litany of the saints. Saint Joseph. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, the Saint Joseph prayer. It's prayer to Saint Joseph, composed by Pope, Pope Leo. Leo the 13th. A recitation at the Rosary. Who also the same pontiff that gave us the St. Michael prayer. Mm. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, Ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield too each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Amen. I love you, St. Joseph. All right. Yesterday was first Wednesday, too. I miss that. All righty. So now we are going to move on to the litany of the saints. And the saint for today, many of you are aware, is uh, St. John Vianney, Cure de Ars, was born the son of a peasant farmer and a slow and uncompromising, uh, pardon me, a slow and unpromising candidate for the priesthood. He was eventually ordained on account of his devoutness rather than any achievement or promise. In 1818, he was sent to be the parish priest of Ars in Doms, an isolated village some distance from Lyon, and remained there for the rest of his life because his parishioners would not let him leave. He was a noted preacher and a celebrated confessor. Such was his fame and his reputation for insight into his penitent souls and their futures that he had to spend up to 18 hours a day in the confessional. So great was the demand that 
tens of thousands of people who came to visit this obscure parish priest turn ours into a place of pilgrimage. The cure refused to sit for a portrait when the sculptor Kabutit surreptitiously tried to capture his features in a ball of wax during the catechism, Biani sternly bounced him out of the church. The French state recognized his eminence by awarding him the Medal of Legion d'Honneur in 1848, and he sold it and gave the money to the poor. St. John Vianney. Pray for us. Pray for us, patron of priests. Righty, and we continue. We pray the litany of the saints, referring back again to diary entry 59, when St. Faustina wrote on one occasion, I heard these words in my soul. Make a novena for your country. This novena will consist of the recitation of the litany of the saints. In the name, go ahead. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Pray for us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Saint Michael. Pray for us. Saint Gabriel. Pray for us. Saint Raphael. Pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels. Pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets. Pray for us. Saint Peter. Pray for us. Saint Paul. Pray for us. Saint Andrew. Pray for us. Saint James. Pray for us. Saint John. Pray for us. Saint Thomas. Pray for us. Saint James. Pray for us. Saint Philip. Pray for us. Saint Bartholomew. Pray for us. Saint Matthew. Pray for us. Saint Simon. Pray for us. Saint Jude. Pray for us. Saint Matthias. Pray for us. Saint Barnabas. Pray for us. Saint Luke. Pray for us. Saint Mark. Pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists. Pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord. Pray for us. All you holy innocents. Pray for us. Saint Stephen. Pray for us. Saint Lawrence. Pray for us. Saint Vincent. Pray for us. Saints Fabian and Sebastian. Pray for us. Saints John and Paul. Pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damien. Pray for us. All you holy martyrs. Pray for us. Saint Sylvester. Pray for us. Saint Gregory. Pray for us. Saint Ambrose. Pray for us. Saint Augustine. Pray for us. Saint Jerome. Pray for us. Saint Martin. Pray for us. Saint Nicholas. Pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors. Pray for us. All you holy doctors. Pray for us. Saint Anthony. Pray for us. Saint Benedict. Pray for us. Saint Bernard. Pray for us. Saint Dominic. Pray for us. Saint Francis. Pray for us. Saint Pio. Pray for us. Saint John Vianney. Pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites. Pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits. Pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Saint Agatha. Pray for us. Saint Lucy. Pray for us. Saint Agnes. Pray for us. Saint Cecilia. Pray for us. Saint Anastasia. Pray for us. 
Saint Catherine. Pray for us. Saint Clair. Pray for us. Saint Elizabeth. Pray for us. Saint Faustina. Pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows. Pray for us. All you holy saints of God. Pray for us. Thank you, Diane. Agnes Marie, Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil. Lord, save your people. From all sin. Lord, save your people. From your wrath. Lord, save your people. From a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people. From the snares of the devil. Lord, save your people. From anger, hatred, and all ill will. Lord, save your people. From the spirit of uncleanness. Lord, save your people. From lightning and tempest. Lord, save your people. From the scourge of earthquake. Lord, save your people. From plague, famine, and war. Lord, save your people. From everlasting death. Lord, save your people. By the mystery of your holy incarnation. Lord, save your people. By your coming. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and holy fasting. Lord, save your people. By your cross and passion. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your holy resurrection. Lord, save your people. By your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people. By the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. On the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the church all those who are straying and bring all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Oh, Jesus, again, we come before you. We, we express our love for you. We love you, Jesus. We see the rays pouring out from your wounded heart. The rays of love and mercy. Bless us, dear Jesus, bless us. We lift up all the petitions, all the petitions that have been put in the chat, and all those held in the hearts of those here on this Zoom call with us, all those in, held in the hearts of those watching on YouTube. Jesus can see it all. So we lift all of these petitions up. And we give them to you, dear Lord Jesus.
The final prayer will be offering the Lord is as he requested to pray the chaplet of mercy and community for our nation. He told St. Faustina to pray it for nine days with the sisters and the wards uh, in order to appease God's mercy and to entreat, uh, excuse me, yes, to appease my father and to entreat God's mercy for Poland. We know that the Lord loves all of our nations, and so we offer all of our individual nations to the Lord through the recitation of this chaplet. And we also offer this uh, chaplet for all the sick and all the dying, as the Lord said. Pray as much as you can for the dying, for they have most need of trust and have it the least. So Joan and I will be doing the opening prayers. First decade is Dottie, second is Lauren, third is Michael, fourth is Catherine, and then Ted, you will wrap us up with the fifth decade and the closing prayers. Thank you. Since today is the fourth, we are on the fourth day of the novena that is typically play, uh, prayed beginning on the uh, on Good Friday, leading up to the Feast of Mercy, but it's a beautiful novena to pray at any time, so we incorporate this in our prayer time as well. Jesus had said, for the fourth day. Well, I see two Ted's uh, there and... Uh, Ted Flynn looks like he had to step away for a moment, and Ted Eshelman is also. So we'll see when we get to the fifth decade. Yeah, Ted Flynn's supposed to do the. Fifth. Ted Flynn is is slated to do it, but if he's. That's fine. <laughs> Either way, it'll be a Ted. Good to see you, Ted. <laughs> Good to see you. Hi, Ted. All righty. Hello. So today is the fourth day of the novena, and Jesus told Saint Faustina. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today, bring to me those who do not believe in God and those who do not yet know me. Most compassionate Jesus, you are the light of the whole world. Receive into the abode of your most compassionate heart the souls of those who do not believe in God and of those who as yet do not know you. Let the rays of your grace enlighten them that they too, together with us, may extol your wonderful mercy. And do not let them escape from the abode, which is your most compassionate heart. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the souls of those who do not believe in you, and of those who as yet do not know you, but who are enclosed in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. Draw them to the light of the gospel. <clears throat> These souls do not know what great happiness it is to love you. Grant that they too may extol the generosity of your mercy for endless ages. Amen. Amen. Okay, Dottie, are you there? We do the opening prayers, right? Oh, we do the opening. Yes. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm here. We're, Dottie, we'll do the opening and then you'll come in at the, the first decade. Sorry about that. Okay. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The optional opening prayer. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O oh, fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O oh, blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which, which gushed, gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. The chaplet of divine mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Michaeline, are you there? I was muted. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins in the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Okay, Ted Flynn. Uh, so good, Ted Eshelman, will you please? To the last decade for us, you have to unmute. Ted, you need to unmute. Ted, we can't hear you. Go. There we go. Can you hear, can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of, our, of, his, of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. You can go ahead and do the closing prayers too, Ted. So I'm just I'm just picking up here. Oh, okay. So oh Holy eternal God. God. Holy God. Oh, 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 I got you. Holy God, holy mighty one. Holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal, Eternal God, God, in, in whom mercy, in is, mercy is endless, endless and the treasure of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair or become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. 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 Thank you all. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Amen. The Son, the Holy Spirit. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you. Especially, Lord Jesus, we thank you. Guy, can you let me know when I can ask Reezy how she's doing? Yeah, let's wait till we finish. Uh, say goodbye to the Lord, Dottie. Well, okay. Gonna say the act that. Oh yes. Yeah, Dottie. I'm. I mean, uh, Louisi. <laughs> Louisi. Okay, yeah, Louisi. Yeah. Go ahead. Most holy Trinity, 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in union with the Blessed Virgin Mary, we adore your majesty and acknowledge your supreme eternal dominion and authority. Most Holy Trinity, we place the United States of America into the hands of Mary Immaculate in order that she may present the country to you. Through the intercession of Mary, have mercy on the Catholic Church in America. Have mercy on our president and on all the officers of our government. Protect family life in our nation. Grant the precious gift of many vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Have mercy on the sick, the poor, the tempted, and all who are in need. Mary Immaculate Virgin, our mother, patroness of our land, we honor you and ask your maternal protection and care for us. Obtain for us the graces we need to live and die according to the will of your divine son. Amen. 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 Thanks, Louise. All right. Oh, Lord. Bless, God bless America. God bless Canada. God bless the whole world. All right. Agnes Marie, will you lead us in the Tanto Mergo? Say goodbye okay. to our Lord. Tanto Mergo Sacramento. We will be back tomorrow, God willing. And I hope all of you are back tomorrow as well. So Ted, thank you so much. What we do at this point, uh, we'll just give you a few moments. Uh, any last minute comments, things we didn't, well, there's so much to cover, I know, but um, that you'd like to add at this particular time. And then if you don't mind, we'll open it up to the gallery for a few minutes of, of Q&A. Uh, no, one thing that I... Uh would have liked to have had more time to get into. You mentioned the article that's in uh, the most recent issue on Our Lady of America. It's been something very, very near and dear. That's the fourth article. The magazine is going into its 34th year. Wow. And that's no small thing to try to get that beast out every couple of months. <laughs> uh, but um, something that the people could research is that there's been a lot of confusion, which is why I wrote that article. It's the longest one I've ever done for the magazine. It's 14 pages. And usually, you know, I mean, we've got attention spans through the internet a lot less than that, but um, than, than a long article. But people should go to our late patronessofamerica.org and learn about Our Lady of America. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of misinformation on it. And it's not dead. They have just simply ruled that there's nothing supernatural. But Bishop Kevin Rhodes of Fort Wayne, uh, South Bend, Indiana, who's a, a, a very good bishop, is very open. And tomorrow, if anybody's even in that general area within a certain amount of a ride, there's actually a first Saturday mass at the um, 
at the center in, 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 in um, Rome City, Indiana where the bishop is celebrating mass. So the door hasn't been closed on it like many. I wrote the article and it, I, I had a tremendous, it was very, very enjoyable to write it because I got educated. I knew all of the material a long time ago, but I hadn't been around it. And I thought it had really with the proclamation and the declaration in the decree of six bishops, I thought they drove a dagger through the heart of it, which they didn't. It's, it's very much open, but they put it into the category of not, not supernatural. So it's kind of, it hasn't been condemned and it hasn't been approved like a Fatima or Lourdes or, uh, or Guadalupe. So uh, I would try to get educated on that because frankly, that's the hope for America that that's proclaimed. Not only for America, because isn't it that that's, a, and I, I think I saw just something glanced at this that also leads to our lady of all nations and i will open the door for that that's right yeah. i mean there's going to have to be some miracles for the bishops to move and that's the prayer right that there are and, and i believe there's going to be i mean the blessed mother has asked that her image it didn't say specifically a statue it said an image is processed in the, in the shrine of the uh, of the Immaculate Conception in Washington, D.C. But because they're, they, the bishops have not done it yet because they, it hasn't been of supernatural. And so there are bishops of, and they're, they're following the Vatican norms on the apparition. But all of the information is actually on the net of Patroness of America, Our Lady Patroness of America. And uh, to get the magazine, also go to signs.org. Sign.org, yeah. Sign right, for those, yeah. And for those that maybe don't have internet access is flexible. The phone number is 703-707-0799. 703-707-0799. Would you repeat that? Um, We're putting it in the chat. We're putting it in the chat. Okay. Yeah. Yes, but it, 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 it's a it's a beautiful thing. I mean, for me to revisit after many years, the messages, everything is right about Our Lady of America, everything, Sister Mildred Neusel, everything, the the site, the people around it, the, the, the springs, uh, <clears throat> how it started, how they the, the order of nuns, Sister Mildred herself. The message is the purity of it. Everything is is right, and it it we you know it's just a big thing for America. Kind of a footnote: <clears throat> many many years ago, I was actually with Father Yozo when he came to town. Um, I was actually kind of his driver. I wasn't his host, but I actually arranged some meetings for him. And he asked during the war, Father Yozo of Medjugorje, he asked that he could meet people in politics from both sides of the aisle. And one of the meetings we had was with Al Gore. It's when yes. Al Gore was vice president. So he was trying to get support from both the Democrats and the Republicans, which he didn't get. But I took him to the shrine. He asked to see the shrine of the Immaculate Conception. And from Capitol Hill, you know, you're a whopping maybe two and a half, three miles right up North Capitol Street. And so he said something to me, which is kind of the footnote, I think, of Our Lady of America. It's not connected to it, but he said he literally turned to me leaving. He said, this is going to be a shrine of great miracles in the future. Wow. Amen. Yeah. yeah. That's the promise. We've spoken a lot about Our Lady of America. We've written about her, too. We're great champions for her. Not as long as you and Maureen have. So... But, uh, you know, it's really spreading there more and more. And I'm I'm really, really happy. I told Maureen yesterday, I'm, I'm glad you guys did this article because uh, we need more people to know about her and more people to be praying uh, for this to come to fruition and to hear what she really has to say. It's yes, the miracles will take place uh, greater than Fatima Lourdes, but 
you know, her diary, she covers uh, about, uh, you know, the need for purity and the Holy family and the divine indwelling. I mean, that's, that's the heart of it really is having the Holy Trinity living inside each and every one of us, isn't it? You want to talk about that for just a second, Ted? Well, I mean, it's, it's the purity of the whole message. I mean, you just bundle two things, the indwelling, but the um, for think of think of it from think of the battle that must be taking place to where America, which is a leader still of the free world, I mean that role is diminishing as we commit suicide as a nation. But what, what battle can we assume is taking place in the heavens to prevent this from happening? I mean, the first issue that we ever did on this in the magazine where she was literally on the cover was 1988. Wow. And there's been just an enormous amount of bad information on what's actually taking place. And in that article, there is no stone unturned. It gives the singular decrees of the six bishops, what they said. And then in November 7th of 2020, there was another a decree specifically by Bishop Rhodes, which came, it's, it's five pages as an explanation of it, uh, which is more of an adjunct to what the six bishops did in more detail <clears throat> and different details. And then the, the decree of Bishop Rhodes granting access for all pilgrims, masses to be said, confessions, uh, and it's required that the decree uh, is posted with the six bishops on the ground where the statue is there. I mean, there's been probably more diabolical, um, to quote Sister Lucy, diabolical disorientation of people on the issue of Our Lady of America than any apparition that I have ever met, that I've ever researched. And we've been writing on this now for well over uh, 35 years in terms of writing, researching books and everything else. We started in the, in the late 80s. So uh, yes, you would expect a battle. And that's exactly what we've got. Well, that's what's always happened. And uh, just even like Faustina for 20 years, 20 years, her writings were squashed and uh, mm -hmm. there was a huge battle going on trying to uh, get the Vatican to dismiss everything. And we would never have a feast of, of divine mercy, huge, huge grace, the greatest day of grace. So yeah, that's a, it's, it's sad, but also it's a good sign, right? That, uh, well, you, you would have to assume that, you know, when you can have something this good in, in, in with the good that this can do literally, not just for America, but for the world, because we export so much, whether it's good or bad, I mean, considering a lot of our greatest exports are armaments, pornography, and alcohol, I mean, as a nation. And so, you know, to be able to export something like this for the world as a result of a spiritual, the, it's going to happen in God's good time. But we have to see the miracles coming out of Rome City where the bishops have to pay attention to it. And, and that's what they're looking for. They need to down, see, I want to, I'm on a Zoom call. Okay. They need to see the miracles. And that's what the prayer is. So anything that people can do to support this, I think would be very, very good. Okay. And get right. educated and get educated on exactly. It. Exactly. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and have just a few minutes for a couple <clears throat> questions. If anybody out there, Dave, you want to put it on gallery view so I can see everybody. Does anybody have any special questions, comments today? Kind of quiet. Oh yes, Bruce. Bruce you have to, there okay. you go. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm a surgeon, and my son, the ER doctor, is sixty, and I've been asking, and we've been praying for about three months for mercy oh. to just shower on him. I remember. Unfortunately, he seems, seems to be going downhill. I mean, maybe it's a blessing we've had three months. Uh, we, were, we were praying for a, a cure, and I, I swore to God that I would walk around the country and explain that prayer can heal this unhealable cancer. But he looks like he's going downhill. 
just wonder if anybody had any comments on that. Well, uh, you know, healing's a mystery. You're saying it's your son who has, who's 60 years old, who has cancer? Uh, pancreatic cancer. Oh, pancreatic. Yeah, I mean, that's the worst one you can have, really. Yeah, pancreatic in the liver. Well, I wouldn't know anything other than literally prayer, uh, prayer, sacrifice, and fasting. I mean, the Lord specifically says, unless there's certain, uh, there's certain things can't be driven out without fasting. So I would try to make fasting a part of the regimen as well. Okay, and that's just, a good point. I appreciate that. And begging God. Uh, someone else recommended. Uh, good good uh, people, I'm I'm unmuted. Uh, can you hear me? Can all of you hear yes, me? Yes, yes. I'm going to be very brief because I've got to leave the meeting. I've got um, black mold in my garage. Maybe uh, the enemy is trying to do some things. I am a neophyte when it comes to Our Lady of the of the of the Americas, but I stumbled on um, a card which I may uh, which I had reproduced as I had also for Our Lady of Guadalupe. And I just, this is not to go a far afield from the focus of this meeting, but I'm asking for everybody's prayers because I just committed myself to get one of the four traveling icons that has um, part of the tilma of Our Lady of Guadalupe in it. Because as my good friend, Dr. Lisa in Colorado says, Our Lady needs to come to California where I am and uh, amen to that. Um, so just, I ask for the group to pray because we're trying to bring this traveling icon that has also had in other visits to places like Colorado. Um, very, um, the only way to explain it quickly is uh, our lady is interested. They, they took it and they had it in place with Cardinal Stafford and with Archbishop uh, Samuel Aquila in Denver. And the next day, Satanists sprayed the um, cathedral. It made the national news. And Dr. Lisa's comment to me was, I, th I don't think Satan is very happy with what we're trying to do here. And it went all over Fort Collins, all over Colorado. On the closing of, the, of sending the icon on to its next visit in Florida, they were having dinner in a Brazilian steakhouse and suddenly Our Lady's flowers appeared from the waistband of Our Lady of Guadalupe all over the table claws. And Dr. Lisa still has those. And she immediately called over the waiter and said, is this happening anyplace else? And the waiter said, absolutely not. And uh, she still has, and it's clearly the flowers that are around the waistband of our, our Lady with Child, as she is depicted as La Morena and Our Lady of Guadalupe. And I just bring that to your attention. I wanna learn more about Our Lady of the, of the Americas because I'm a complete neophyte, that shame on me, but we'll get back. I'll thank you for allowing me to speak and I am gonna sign off, but just pray because we're bringing her here and, and trying to get the cooperation of the local bishop. But this was approved in Denver by Cardinal Stafford and by Samuel Aquila and also the bishop in Northern Colorado. It went everywhere. There were conversions. There were people that came back to the faith that had been away for many years. So Our Lady in any of her apparitions are, are so important. And I'm gonna try to get educated through you guys on what Mr. Flynn so eloquently shared about uh, Our Lady of the Americas. I'm, I'm going to research that because I'm a neophyte there. So I, have a quick, I have a quick question. Are you getting the missionary image from uh, Dan Lynch in St. Alban, Vermont? Is that the- Yes, I am. You, yeah. I had that yes. in my house last winter for about two months. You did? Yeah, I'm very well, familiar. I'm going to have it at I'm going to have it at my house. <laughs> it's, it's heavy. It's heavy. I brought it around. Uh, after the election, I actually wheeled it. I put it on a dolly. And, it, you know, it's fairly heavy and it's bulky. And I put it on a dolly and I, and I stra strapped it down really well. And I actually wheeled it 
uh, on a dolly around the Supreme Court seven times with a thousand people saying the rosary. Oh. Nice. That's, yeah. Well, I, I'm. Uh, I thought the Blessed Mother was going to pull a rabbit out of the hat and save America, to tell you the truth. So I, I, I got it from Dan and I went around the Supreme Court with it. And, and it was like the Jericho march. And everybody took one turn with it because, you know, around the Supreme Court. That day I walked with it because, you know, I, you look on your iPhone. I don't know if you know, you can measure your steps. That day from early in the morning till I finished, I walked eight miles with it. Wow. Well, I'm sure that uh, heaven um, is not going to waste that, uh, Ted, and, and or your efforts either, Ted uh, Eshelman and Ted Flynn. And um, uh, she's, she's wonderful. She, our Lady of uh, Guadalupe is Our Lady of the Americas. What we're talking about is Our Lady of America, specifically okay. for the United States. So I'm going to make that justification. So, Ted, we're going to let you go to deal with your mold. And uh, we'll, we'll be in touch. You can reach out to us to help you. And I, I just want to, before we pass on uh, real quick, everybody for, for Bruce, if anybody else, because uh, he asked the question of what else to do or how we understand this, someone else recommended praying to St. Charbel, a great miracle worker, uh, look into the Tesla bio healers. They have healed cancer. Now that's coming out also these healing machines, they call them med beds and Tesla healers. And it has to do with sending certain radioactive waves or vibrations or something like this. It's a technology that from what I've heard and seen, uh, you can, you can Google the information has been hidden and kept from us. So all part of, of a, a lot of what Ted is talking about uh, in his book here. But Bruce, I would also just say that, you know, in that prayer that we pray at the end of the chaplet, that it says that in difficult moments, we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence, submit ourselves to God's holy will, which is love and mercy itself. And I think that's what we have to hold on to when we go through uh, things that don't turn out the way we want, or we're praying and praying. I'm sure everybody here has had times in their lives when they've prayed for something fervently. And uh, it didn't go the way we want, but we, we just have to put it all in God's hands and await that many, many times later, we see great good that comes out of these things. I don't know if it's bringing the family together or conversions or we, we just don't know. It's a mystery. So we'll continue well, I, to I pray. I appreciate that. that. I appreciate that. And I will at least myself take on some fasting. I'll read up on how to do that the right way and we'll give that a shot. But I know that the miracle we all get is in the resurrection and our chance to get into heaven. Well, it's good to see you again. And we'll keep praying for your son. Thank you. Well, yes, thank man. you. Uh, thank you all for allowing me to share. And I'm going to I'm going to leave now. But thank you very much. God all bless right. all of you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. And you see, and this is what Ted was talking about, you know, the, the need for us to be together. And this is an example. This is Ted. Oh, this is the kind of thing the that uh, the community lifts up. Um, and here we have um, someone saying she will offer fasting for Bruce's son. So we're helping each other out. When we pray for everybody that comes to us, uh, especially through these, the novenas and in divine mercy for America, every single day offer up masses, you know, so everyone will will join together to pray for each other with with all of our struggles and and all of our dreams so any other bruce, questions for bruce for, can i ask you a question i forget what your son's first name is mike mike okay dotty puts everyone on her prayer list uh she's so so always faithful to that thank you dotty so much you're welcome Thank you, Dottie. You're welcome. And Dottie, I'm fine, honey. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. My son's coming in tonight at 8 p.m., so I won't be able to participate. If if I can, I will. But that's, I just, just pray for my back. My back's been really hurting me. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I put you on the prayer line too, Louise. Thank you. And You're all welcome. of you are in my prayers. Thank you, Louise. We love you. Hello. Have a good time yeah. with your family. Thank okay. you. Just two more minutes. Anybody else? Two minute two warning. Minute. Okay. Two minutes. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. yes. 
Hi, this is Jim. I wanted to uh, mention Father Jim Blunt, B-L-O-U-N-T, the healer, to Bruce. Um, he's going to be in Malvern this weekend doing a healing retreat. And you, he's in uh, Texas. He's based in Texas with the SOLT Fathers. I think you know Father Jim Blunt from the International Week of Prayer and Fasting. And he is a healer. He's very filled with the Holy Spirit. I hope you look him up. And I will send you an email of the dates that I know where he's going to be. Uh, that someone sent to me. I will send that to you, Dave and Joan. Oh. Malvern, I believe, is in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Bruce, aren't you in Florida? But he goes all over. Yeah. I'm in uh, Capitola, California. Oh, you are. You're in Sacramento. Oh, okay. oh I love Capitola. <laughs> oh, Capitola. Oh, okay. Oh. I thought he said the capital of. Okay, you're in California. On the, on the Monterey Bay. Oh, so nice. Yeah. <laughs> talking Thank about you. talking about prayer never ever give up on prayer because it will happen i don't care how long you pray and believe that it's going to happen because i prayed for 27 years mm. and it finally came through one day my mom come home and said your brother's going back to church yeah, mm. wow. I about I about flipped out when I heard that. It was just it touched me so much. She says, "Hold on, because you're going to be so excited." And and I'll tell you, it may happen right away. It may take forever. Never ever ever give up on prayer because prayer does work. I don't care what anybody tells you about prayer. Oh, it don't work. This and that. People will tell you that. But it does work. It doesn't happen when we want it to. It happens in God's timing. And his timing is a perfect timing. Because I prayed for this place I have. I prayed and prayed and prayed. I was going from place to place. Not, Lord wasn't letting me be homeless. But I'll tell you, by praying and praying and praying, he finally gave me a place. And it happened to be. He gave it to me on my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and and it was like, that was a perfect timing because I was the place I would, the gentleman I was living with, they had taken me in. He was driving me crazy. And I was ready to enter the mental hospital. Oh. The Lord knew that. I was down to my last straw. And he let, he answered my prayer because I prayed and prayed and prayed. Just don't give up. It will happen. All right. We're going to thank you, Lauren. We know you're, welcome. you're so, so faithful. Uh, one last thing, uh, Ted, again, someone is asking again for that website. Um, what was Immaculate, Our Lady Immaculate? I don't know um you know the exact title let me let me get it one second it's okay it's, I, immaculate virgin or something i'm looking in the on the article trying to find yeah. it uh even and you got to be careful about getting to the the accurate website it's it's actually called our lady the immaculate virgin patroness of america our Lady, the Immaculate Virgin, Patroness of America. And you'll see anything that's got Bishop Rhodes information, with it, it's got the decrees from the bishops. Uh, um, and then the, um, in the 2009 decree, uh, to tell you the exact date, it was July 29th, 2019 is the first singular decree with six bishops. Then the next with just Bishop Rhodes was uh, May 7, 2020, which is the statement in the explanation of Our Lady of America. And then the singular decree of November 3rd, 2020. So there's three documents. And so when you know that you're in looking at the docu documents, literally with the Bishop seal, you, you'll know you're in the right place. So make sure you're not tooling around some sort of website that's not authentic and reliable. 
And also um, on our website on divinemercyforamerica.org, we do have her diary, the diary of, of uh, Sister Mary Ephraim. So if you'd like to order that. In the store. In the store. Yes. And that will help you with uh, to read the messages. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, where well, we are out of time. Um, we love you all. We're thankful that you were here. Ted, thanks for joining us. Thanks for this great information. Thanks for all the time and effort that you put into both the article and the book. I'm going to have to carry these in our store. And I'm thinking, I know so many people that I want to get it into the hands of. So um, we'll be back in touch to take care of that. So Thank you. It's, it was enjoyable. It's, I've not done one like that. You do the litany of the saints and you do the rosary and the chaplet. I've, I've not been a part of anything where, you, where they do anything like this. Yeah, well, the, it, it's in it again. It's because if there are, people are unfamiliar that Faustina was given four novenas to make a holy hour uh, for her nation for nine days, another time to receive holy communion in nine days. And it's spread out throughout the diary. And then another time, the litany, and then the last time with the sisters in the wards to pray the chaplet. So we thought if she was told to do that for her country, and over and over, she would say, the Lord would say, because of you, I am blessing your country. And she would say, if it hadn't been for the prayers of souls that are faithful to God, that whole nation would have been annihilated long ago, is what she said of, of Russia. So as you said, like with our country, how we have been the greatest um, exporters of so much sin you know it's the prayers of people that come and join us now that that has saved us from huge huge chastisements i believe and and is blessing our country and blessing our families so despite what the whole world is doing she made it that point over and over again you know it's because of faithful souls that god is blessing the world and because of the sacrifice of his son jesus so but jesus said you're the salt of the earth you take that salt out and the salt's a preservative the mariners couldn't have even sailed without salt the the, the culture cannot exist without the believer it'll exactly. collapse in 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 a day and like and i'm sure and i saw that you you know flipping through here again you point out things that have happened in in uh, scripture and throughout history where how many times the underdog from, you know, David to the battle of Lepanto to the battle of Vienna to where it looked like there was no way, no way we could win. Or when the Pharaoh was coming with everybody in his chariots, you know, that there was, they were up against the water, no way out and God intervened. And so we have to, we too, and how blessed we are to be living in a time to be on that side, to be the small remnant and not to be discouraged by it but to be thankful to God that he's given us that grace. Right. My final words. So well, thank you very much. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Nice Ted. meeting you. Thank you. The great reset sign.org. Yeah. The great. We win. We win. we win. we win. In the Book end, we hope. win. In the end. Book of win. hope. That's right. All right. Tell your friends, your neighbors, everybody come here tomorrow. Father Donald Kloster is with us. Awesome. To talk about. I'm um, very little known sin, uh, uh, prayers. Who do we pray for when we are facing temptation? And it is a sure way out. All kinds of temptations, especially, he said, with the sins against impurity, which was Our Lady of America is all about. So don't miss it tomorrow. God bless Amen. you all. Amen. See you then. Have a blessed okay, evening. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, Ted. Dave and Joe. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye.